the objective of today's experiment is to prepare and submit barbituric acid from the diethyl melonate for the synthesis of barbituric acid these are the ingredients which are used then this is the table composition for the barbituric acid for the synthesis from diethyl melonate firstly 1.2 gram of sodium metal was accurately weighed with the help of digital balance thereafter 8 gram of diethyl melonate was accurately weighed with the help of digital balance and after that 25 ml of absolute ethanol was measured with the help of measuring cylinder all the ingredients were then transferred into round bottom flask in the sequential manner firstly sodium metal was transferred to the round, round bottom flask then diethyl melonate was added to the round bottom flask and after that the 25 ml of absolute ethanol was transferred to the round bottom flask the contents were constantly shaken after each addition 3 g of urea was accurately weighed with the help of digital balance it was then added to hot ethanol the solution of urea was prepared in hot ethanol this hot solution of urea was then added to the round bottom flask with constant stirring after the addition a reflux assembly was set up with the in oil bath at 110 degrees celsius the reflux assembly was refluxed for 7 hours the dry solid was separated out after the reflux for 7 hours 45 ml of hot water was added to the reaction mixture followed by the concentrated sulfur hydrochloric acid with constant stirring until the solution is acidic the concentrated hcl was added to the solution after the addition of 45 ml of hot water until it is acidic the concentrated hcl needs to be added till the solution is acidic the resulting reaction mixture was then filtered and the solution was kept in refrigerator overnight after that the solution the solid which was filtered was washed with cold water and was dried at 100 degree celsius for 2 hours the solid obtained was dried at 100 degree celsius for 2 hours the product was then again weighed and the yield was calculated with the help of this calculation the practical yield can be calculated the percentage yield was also calculated with the help of the theoretical yield table obtained